like lot of memories, a lot of memories. I remember Miss Lillian Ford, she was a shake dancer. I had never seen that before. This is Rodville style. She would come out and be all over the place with little tassels and all that. And a little kid, I'm about 13, 14, I'm saying, wow. Let me get back to my horn playing, you know. <laughs> uh, Jimmy Braswell and Billy, Billy Young, Kevin Arline, and next to me, Clarence Rowley. We played together with Sam and Dave and Otis Redden and Pine Topper as a musician. Ms. Gladys uh, gave me a lot of insight and she just showed me how all music is supposed to be played the timing of the music. If there are other people with you, don't be a hog on the music. Play to play with other people. Make it all one. And she would do that with us. She'd take two or three kids and she'd have us all play the same piece. And then she'll actually say, You playing it too loud, you playing it just right. Or something. She just judged us. She just kept us on the flow. So that when you're playing with other people, you can blend in with them. You wouldn't have no problem. We started off with architect, Little Richard. And then before Little Richard, she taught Fats Gunner, Luke Gunner, who was the piano player for James Brown. Lewis Hamlin was with James Brown. She had a lot to do with a guy named Sonny Goss, Harold Smith. She even had a little young 16-year-old kid come out to Hillview Springs, call himself going to sing when she was doing a teenage party. His name was Otis Redding. When James Brown got ready to do his album in 63, Lewis Hamlin was the band director. So the album was going to be live at the Apollo. James, they got you. So he wanted all the songs connected and do runs from one note to the next. So Miss Gladys, showed Lewis how to connect the songs by taking certain songs and breaking them down. Da 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 doom dee doo doom doom dee doo like that. She could have Miss Gladys played all over and everywhere. But she didn't take time I've seen it written down. She didn't want to go into the studio. She she did what she wanted to do. Really did what she wanted to do. She didn't have time to go with nobody's studio. That took too much time to record, and she probably didn't want to take an interview because it was too much time. She needed to do something else. 